What's up everybody? This is Rocket Snail and welcome back. This is the third episode of the handbook and today we take a look at Zyra. Zyra is a really cool and innovative AP based champion whose skill set isn't like any other. And having such unique abilities on a champion usually means there's a high skill ceiling when learning that character. So I hope you pick up some useful info about her and without further ado, let's get started. Zyra's passive is Rise of the Thorns. When Zyra dies, she transforms into a plant that may fire a thorn dealing true damage to every enemy it passes through. I'm very indifferent when it comes to this passive. On one hand you're getting a decent amount of true damage, but on the other you have to die to use it. Rise of the Thorns falls within the realm of Kog'Maw's passive, and if I had to rate it, it would be higher. In the end it gives you good damage, and it's fairly easy to hit all things considered. I will never tell you to play risky or overly aggressive to take advantage of this passive, but always remember that it is there and it can be a great tool when all hope seems lost. The damage dealt is pretty mediocre in the late game, but it never isn't true damage. At level 18, you're dealing 440 to potentially more than one enemy, and that number adds up quickly. When to use this skill usually comes down to the situation and location you fall. Most of the time you can try and tag as many people as possible but never overlook the quick kill if you have a clear shot. There is a small delay from when you die to when you can actually use the skill shot. So if you fall in a small skirmish where the enemy has time to react, the shot becomes much harder to hit. Luckily the missile speed on this thing is quick, so it shouldn't be too hard to lay down some hurt. Cyrus Q is Deadly Bloom. Cyrus plants a small AoE and after a very small delay it deals magic damage in that area. If a seedling is within the AoE as the damage is dealt, it will turn into the ranged version of the seedling. This skill's importance varies between which role Zyra is playing within the game. If you're supporting, this is the skill you are least reliant on due to it having no CC, but with one point in it, you can deal a decent amount of damage in the early, early levels. If you are playing anything other than support, this is usually your go-to skill for quick harass with good damage or a great farming tool. There's a very small timing from when you can place the AoE to when it activates. This allows you to place and activate seedlings after placing the Q. Using this small trick increases your damage output significantly while harassing or fighting. The pushing potential of this skill is amazing. With a good AP ratio and a low cooldown, Zara is a pushing monster and she should live up to that name throughout the game. While in a solo lane, a quick QE combo can quickly clear the lane and let Zara take advantage of her fantastic roam potential. As a support, however, the skill is none of the above. Simply use Q to get some damage down on an enemy, or use it for a little bit of plant harass. With low AP, damage on Q is lackluster, but most of the time you can get the carry to miss some CS just by controlling space with it. Deadly Bloom is a piece of the puzzle that is Zyra's combo potential. Learning to weave seedlings into your abilities increases your damage potential exponentially, and when that becomes second nature, you start to realize the true potential of this amazing champion. Zyra's W is Rampant Growth. Zyra gains passive cooldown reduction, increasing per level. Activating this skill places a seedling that when stepped upon by an enemy champion will reveal them for a short time. Stepping on it also destroys the seedling. Casting QRE over a seedling will cause them to grow. You will normally be maxing this ability last, but its power comes with only one point. The plant's damage doesn't scale off the ranks of Rampant Growth, but rather the rank of the corresponding ability that transforms the plant. I spoke about learning to weave the seedlings into abilities in the last segment, but I'll remind you again how important this is to play Zyra effectively. Adding on some extra damage while controlling a small zone, perhaps with a great slow tacked on, can change or solidify a trade or harass. Rampant growth is what makes Zyra such a strong champion to have in lane. The space control plants and seedlings grant just by being there is already impressive, but this skill's strength comes in the damage and utility the plants grant when used correctly. The passive cooldown might be nice with the higher rank, but your other skills outshine this great one, and that should speak loudly about Zyra. Zyra's E is Grasping Roots. Zyra sends forward vines that will root any target it passes through. If a seedling is activated by Grasping Roots, it will grow into a lashing plant that will slow and deal damage to enemies hit. Grasping Roots is the opener to almost every Zyra combo and is the ability that should be used with the most care. It is your easy connection to damage and utility without the chance of missing the rest of your skills. But if missed, your other abilities become much easier to dodge and that can spell disaster. Since Grasping Roots can go through targets, a good amount of patience can pay dividends. 
The spell has the ability to hit more than one enemy, so why not wait for a great position to use it? Don't balance on life or death when it can save you if you use it right away, but always look for the root on multiple targets if you can do it. The root duration grows as you level the skill as well, similar to Morgana's Dark Binding. This spell has the potential to lock down multiple targets for a good portion of a fight, and it can initiate a counter one if an enemy unintelligently tries to force something. Vine Lashers are the plants that grow from the seedlings when hit by E. These guys are by far the most annoying thing about Zyra. Good placement of these bad boys can allow you to easily kite and kill an enemy without much problem. Considering Zyra has some of the best counter initiate in the game, paired with these little guys, that makes a deadly combo. Zyra's ultimate is Stranglethorns. Zyra summons a huge AoE that deals magic damage as plants creep from the center. After a short delay, enemies within the AoE are knocked up. Any plants already in the AoE are granted attack speed. Stranglethorn's damage comes before the knockup, so it is possible to get a full combo's damage before the enemy has a chance to get out. You can almost guarantee to blow at least one flash when this beast is laid down. Hitting multiple enemies is pretty much all you have to worry about when using Stranglethorns. To be most effective, it usually has to be on the back of Grasping Roots, taking away a chance of a flash or a dodge of the knockup. Stranglethorns gives plants a lot of attack speed, and this is a lot of damage when you take into consideration the root on E and the knockup on R. That is a long time to be locked down while plants are flailing away at you. AP or not, you can still deal a good amount of damage with a full combo just with the plants picking up the slack. While the name is lackluster, the ability is not. This finisher does a huge amount of damage and has massive AoE utility. Pairing those together creates a skill that could truly be described as ultimate. Zyra does very well when paired with more AoE CC. Stacking Stranglethorns on top of an Amumu or Jarvan ulti can lock a team down for an entire fight when done correctly. E and R have great potential to counter initiate, so Zyra naturally does well against teams that must commit when initiating. Zyra does extremely well when paired against champions with weak early game. Your fantastic harass and farming ability early on can shut down a lot of champions when played effectively. When paired with a jungler or lane partner that can lock an enemy champion down for any amount of time, you take away the chance of missing your combos. These teammates can easily set up a quick kill or objective secure. The glaring hole in Zyra's gameplay is that she relies on skills that can be dodged fairly easily. Champions that have built-in repositioning tools, such as Fizz, LeBlanc, or Cassidan, have a much easier time when dealing with Zyra. Most of your bad matchups will not take effect in the early game since your harass and pushing potential are great. But know your opponent, and know their advantages against you. One mistake on Zyra can lead to your death. Zyra relies on her skills to escape bad situations. You gotta hit your E's and your R's. I cannot stress this enough. A lot of the time pre-6, if you miss the root on your E, you will wind up in a bad situation and probably dead. A few lane bullies can give Zyra trouble. Zyra in the early game is weak to tower dives, and a lot of opponents know it. Keep safe distance from these guys, and farm safely until help arrives. Alright, and with that, ends another chapter in the Summoner's Handbook. I hope you picked up some good information about this amazing champion, and I hope you put it to great use on the battlefield. If you liked what you saw, do me a favor and go ahead and like or subscribe. This has been Rocket Snail, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the Rift.